All right, you are looking at a loggerhead sea turtle weighing about 100 pounds. It arrived in San Diego last night to get some much needed care. That turtle is at the Birch Aquarium at Scripps in La Jolla right now. And you will soon be able to see it. New at 5, 10 News reporter Craig Guerrera has a look at the physical challenge this little guy is facing and the special care it will receive in San Diego. This is the latest addition to the Birch Aquarium at Scripps Institution of Oceanography in La Jolla. This sea turtle in particular is a rehabilitated animal and needed a home. Otherwise, in the wild, it wouldn't survive. It was originally found in a New Jersey power plant's cooling canal eight months ago, then sent to the South Carolina Aquarium for a temporary home. The Birch Aquarium raised $50,000 to house it for the next year. It arrived in San Diego Wednesday night. Yeah, a little bit uh, tired last night, but feisty, doing really, really great in the holding tank. Well, this loggerhead sea turtle traveled over 3,000 miles to be here. It will be getting some special care while it's in San Diego. It's a juvenile born with some physical defects. Some scoliosis or curvature of the back plate, and also the rear flippers are paralyzed and are tucked in. The turtle can use its front flippers and feed well, but the paralysis slows it down and it would have a tough time competing with other animals. And long term, that scoliosis in, in the back might progress and because of that it would not survive. Right now it weighs about 100 pounds. It could gain another 200 pounds and live to be 50 years. It'll get ongoing care here. Doing a physical where we get some blood collections, we analyze the bloods. They'll also take measurements and compare that over time. They don't know its sex yet. How you tell that is by the length of the tail. Males have really long tails and females have really short tails. And San Diego is its new home. You'll be able to visit the loggerhead sea turtle in January. The hope is guests will learn more about protecting our oceans and the animals that call it home. In La Jolla, Craig Herrera, 10 News. We need to come up with a unisex name for it. Mandy. Mandy, there you go. I don't know.